The master of the house at Kensington, Major Beecham Chuff, will be in charge of looking after Marina's needs until her wedding. I'll let him know you will be taking care of her and showing her around. As for the major's name, I found out later that it was actually spelled Beauchamp Chuch. Yes, I know. English is a batshit language. And this concludes another chapter of No Need to Be Rude, Jeeves by P.G. Woodhouse. Perhaps we'll continue that next week. Welcome to Short Horror Saturday here at twitch.tv slash purblindgamer. I certainly hope everybody is having a good weekend. Mine's been decent. I haven't gotten enough done. Never do. But I had a good time hanging out with my roommates yesterday, and it's been an interesting week at work. I've been looking into... Well, how much can I talk about what I do? Let's say various tax-related things, and I've been researching rights and trying to contact institutions. Yes, that sounds vague enough, and I don't think I can possibly get in trouble for it, and it probably makes my job sound more exciting than it is. But some weeks it is. Other days you've got your nose buried in files and you wonder, what if a fire broke out in the file closet? Then would I not have to file things anymore? But such thoughts are not healthy or indeed charitable. And thank you to everybody who came out to my last couple of streams. Um, yeah, we finished two excellent cinematic platformers in the last two streams. Deadlight, or no, yeah, Deadlight last Sunday, and Rain on Wednesday. Especially Rain, I'm like, oh, couldn't there be more of it? Even though I know I was getting pretty tired and fading towards the end of the stream. I was being mostly exhausted this whole week. That means I should either drink more caffeine or get more sleep. And one of them is a lot easier than the other. Because if you notice, they don't sell, like, drinks that contain 200 milligrams of sleep for $1.25. Yeah. Plus tax. And deposit on the can. <clears throat> no deposit on sleep. Anyhow. Sorry I didn't announce today's stream on MySpace. It's down again. They like... They have issues, I think. And... Oh uh, yeah, the community challenge is going on. I know we just started it uh, a couple of streams ago. So if that sounds like fun, you should all dump points into that. It'll make me actually do something around here. <laughs> uh, I need to write more. <clears throat> anyway. Today we've got two very different horror games. One is a yeah, fully 3D game, game released about two weeks ago. And one is also modern, but is done in a very retro RPG style. In fact, the developer's page boasts one-bit graphics. And I'm like, Did, I, didn't, I didn't know there was such a thing as one-bit graphics. Was there, was there ever a one-bit console? I know we had 8-bit and 16-bit, but I don't know. Maybe the Odyssey Squared. I believe I've actually seen an Odyssey Squared in person. Unless I saw one at Magfest once. Anyway. Westwich Castle. Hmm. Oh good, we got sound. <laughs> There's no music, and I'm like, uh, are we running into audio issues? And issues earlier with, no, oh, it doesn't matter. It's all fixed now. Um, my 
head hurts. I feel like someone has bashed my head in. That is probably why it hurts. I need to get out of here. Is that too quiet? Ooh. Oh. Nice, they do the old dot that changes color. But it's a nice big dot. So glad they put me in the cell with the secret door. Ah, awesome. Thanks, Doc. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, looks a lot like my cell. So let's think about places like this castle. Every stone had to be placed by hand. Ooh, we got lanterns and candles. It's good to have a backup plan. to attack anything. Oh, is that an Iron Maiden? Something. A Virgin of Nuremberg? Is it like a different term if it has spikes or if it doesn't have, spi have spikes? No, it's called Westwich Castle. Does it look like amnesia? Still haven't played Amnesia. I definitely will sometime. I know that's one of the greatest horror games ever. Maybe after we finish the Alone in the Dark series, we'll start playing the Penumbra or Amnesia series for October. Oh, cool. And I bet, I bet you're right, Stock, and it was probably inspired by Amnesia then. <laughs> Oh, even the items, like the hammer and the lantern and stuff. That's cool. Yeah, did you like Amnesia Stock? Controversial to show that level of violence, so they cut to black when I kicked the lock open. Just wonder. Oh, the hammer's from Penumbra. Oh, I smashed the lock with it. Cool. Neat. I've only, I've still only played the Penumbra tech demo. Like, I do intend to play the, like the trilogy, but need to. Someone was telling me there's a way to edit the font so it appears bigger. Maybe I can create the perfect servant. A servant who is obedient and always does what he is told. A servant who does not put his own needs above those of his master. I found an old book that describes such a procedure. First a hole must be drilled in the skull. Then, very slowly, acid must be instilled through this hole. 
transporting acid into the brain. That sounds like a terrible idea. Okay, most of the graphics are from Amnesia, but the hammer is from Penumbra. Yeah. Sounds like the vet dev was definitely a fan of those games. Wondering if I should keep. There's another passage before I broke the lock, and I wonder if I should look about there before I keep going. Hmm. <clears throat> there. Actually, there were a couple. <laughs> in case it's going to run out of fuel. I want to be inside this candle relying on the. Wall candles. Is there inside this candle I meant castle? I think this was the one. Yeah, that I didn't check out. It's very atmospheric. So far we seem to be the only entity down here. Which kind of concerns me. Is that? Yeah. Guess we can't take the ladder with us. Yeah. We try. This is where we got the hammer, right? Yeah, yeah. Torture chamber. It's probably what I would do if I were in this situation, use the lantern as little as possible. <clears throat> or I might use the candles to save the lantern and then hope I don't need the candles for Something else. Like, I don't know, some ritual. Yeah. Okay. Stairs. Yeah. Seven candles. Yes, how big is this place? The answer? Very. locked. Let me take this pike or whatever it is. Pike axe. To find all the levers to open that door. sound but my footsteps and all these lit lights imply that someone else has been here the bellows for the forge is still glowing white hot the lever is also glowing one in. Hey, Captain Thacko. Welcome in. Happy Saturday. How are you doing today? Yeah. 
every door in the place is locked. Hey, Dragon of the West, welcome in. How are you doing today? How did the rest of your stream with uh, Haggard Hessian go? You guys, please go check out Dragon of the West. Streams a lot of more modern games. Thing, Dirt 5. Is that a dirt bike racing game? Yeah. Stock, so all we can hear are the, the soft footsteps. Really contributes to making it creepier. That open one of the doors? Oh, maybe each lever opens a door. Yeah. Dirt. I feel like I've heard of a game named Dirt, and it was a racing game. But you guys know how a little bit tension I play to racing games. I'm like, dude, they just they made a sequel to pole position. Did anybody else know that? I forgot it was a cartoon. No, I was thinking of the old, uh, it was an arcade game, and then I think the cartoon was an adaptation of that. Like, it was one of the first times that happened. But then there was a, I believe there was a pole position too for the arcades, but like also in the late 80s or something. Beyond pole position. Super pole position. Ms. Pole position. Oh, corn. Corn pole position. <laughs> ah. No oh, wait. You can place... Is that a place a candle there? I don't think it's a new game. I just... I saw a reference to it, but I... I think it's an old sequel, like, if the first game was mid-80s, the second game was late-80s, or something like that. Doesn't really seem to be much to take here. Well, there might be another lever, but still gotta go down that dark hallway. Yeah, I hope the rest of your stream went well, dragon. Oops. we can read. I want to hear more about this uh, method to create the perfect servant.
What's that? Oh, there's another lever. Most experiments go wrong. The procedure is too complicated. The prisoners either die immediately or they survive but cannot do the simplest work afterwards. Some survive a few days but then die of infection. I have to find a better way to clean the instruments. When was this set? Figuring that out. And also, what was that noise? I don't think this will be much good as a weapon. Wait. Yeah, that's just the paper. Seriously, what is making that noise? Ah! Death. was fast. <laughs> yeah, that that answers that. <laughs> no, thank goodness, not from the beginning. We got the second lever in place, and we just go back here. Yeah. Up to the last big staircase. Picking up the lever triggers something unpleasant. Ah, huh. okay. <clears throat> A really generic custom story for amnesia. <laughs> This is one of those so-called perfect servants that's going to chase us. No, or not? Huh? Oh, maybe reading the paper trigger something. Huh. Or maybe you can only die once. Oh, that's awesome that Amnesia had like support for being able to mod it and do custom maps. And fans took advantage of that. Hey, Doji Lon. Welcome in. How are you today? unlocked one of the downstairs doors. <laughs> Bean. Nice. Uh, at least with things glowing, I'm less likely to miss something important. open every door. When possible. Mm. More books and scrolls. But none relevant, it appears. Are we in a chapel of some kind? 
with wax and seals. get attacked again. I think I did put a candle in the candlestick holder in the kitchen. Maybe I'll... <clears throat> I found a lever. People in the nearest village are already telling each other rumors that I had something to do with the disappearances. I told my men to leave the village alone for the time being and to look elsewhere. this one. Hmm. All day long time without any danger. Whoever this message reaches, do not go down to the wine cellar. It is not safe there. A failed experiment is wreaking havoc there. Okay, well that's good to know. Unless... Here's an idea. Let's go down to the wine cellar. I like wine. How deep underground do they store in this wine? Can we... Oh. Hey, guitar cat. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Yes, please go check out guitar cat. Just rambling through this very old castle, trying to escape. Oh, we're in the wine cellar. Oh, I'm sorry you hurt your back, Kitar. I hope that gets better soon. I'm glad you're doing emotionally well. experiment. Is he 
getting louder. Uh oh. Let's get out of here. for a moment, but we're safe. <laughs> it's like <laughs> If I turn off the lantern, is it less likely to see me? Hello, Great White Knoll. How are you today? Are we being... Uh, yeah, there's something chasing us. I don't know what. Oh, awesome. Glad to hear it. They're doing reasonably well, thanks. Sounding a little bit like a demon. <laughs> Death. <clears throat> so, I'm looking at the candle count. Wonder if they stay lighted. <laughs> yeah. Definitely reminiscent of something growling in the darkness. It's... I don't hear it growling. Oh, cobwebs and candles. Cobwebs and candlesticks. Cobwebs and creams. Set him a screaming and hark how he screams. I don't know, you guys think it's like if you get killed once, the monster doesn't respawn? Wonder. We got the lever. Oh, yeah, just leave the lantern on. Interesting, Kitar. Kitar, that, um, what's it called? Amnesia makes the monsters not spawn if they kill you enough times. And Stoffer Wooder was saying this game is highly reminiscent of Amnesia and even seems to use some, like, ripped graphics. <laughs> we have made the game making it adjustable difficulty so you can actually complete it. <laughs>
this. Can't turn the wheels. All we ever seem to find in the drawers and cupboards are candles. Oh dear. An unsuccessful experiment from the looks of it. White de Oh, I have a great white knoll. I've heard of it. That's like... Korean survival horror from like the early 2000s, right? And then did they? I think they released it as freeware or something, but then it got like a nicer translation and it's up on Steam. I haven't. I've heard it's supposed to be pretty good. Have you played it? I'd say it's on my list to play, but let me get right down to it. Isn't every horror game from 1985 to about 2010 on my list to play? <laughs> oh dear. Didn't even hear the growls that time. Well, this distortion can't get a good look at him. Okay. It's like the version on Steam is like a full remake, but you prefer the original once it's been translated, huh? Yeah, like... I remember when my sister was studying in Korea, I was like, hey, if you happen to see a big box copy of White Day, or a box copy of Mega Turtle Battleship, for the Sega Genesis. And she's like, where do you think I'm going to be hanging out that I'm going to see big boxed computer games? <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know. Korean thrift stores. Man, he chased us a long time that time. Hmm. <clears throat> White day. I always appreciate it when, yeah, developers release their games for free, like formerly commercial games. There's one. I was thinking about one like that the other day. What was it? Oh, oh right, on Escape was one. I think that was less than 10 years after the first one came out. <laughs> if we can explore here. Not triggering Growly Boy. Me and my grand plans. Oh, I'm alive. Oh, maybe I'll give it 15 seconds. Wait, I got all the levers. So now I'm just, am I just trying to get out of here? keep going in circles, I'll eventually distance myself from them. Maybe I can look around a little. In theory. <laughs> hmm. 
And we're safe. For a minute. Veers. I can't move my veers. We only needed one. I'm sorry, were you going to eat this? Because that sounds terribly unhealthy. You should find something else to eat, like... Oh, human flesh. Right, okay. Got it. No, no, go back to eating wheels. <clears throat> He's still coming. Damn. It's this guy. Oh, oh good. I'm starting to think maybe if you steal from him, he doesn't stop chasing you. time. Hey, can I lead them one towards the other and they kill each other? It's very seems more straightforward, maybe. I'll try turning off the lantern next time, seeing if he loses my trail earlier. Can't. Yeah. I can't raise it and make him fall or anything. Yeah. You guys see him in the darkness patrolling? We'll never get a good look at him with all this distortion. Oh, oh. He's so quiet, I thought he'd gone. So we use candles to light candles, is my understanding. distortion piece. Yeah! I hear him, but I don't see him. And see if he doesn't see me. We gotta run out there and... Objects in lantern light may appear closer than they actually are. I guess he's gone. Second, that was it. 
just a but just a basket. This place is set nobody here. to open the wardrobes and the drawers because they're more likely to have the big items in them. This game should be called Drawer Opening Simulator. Final jump scare. Oh, oh, we won. <laughs> Thank you for playing. <laughs> oh, guess that was more abrupt than I thought. And that was Westwich Castle. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Oops. And now. Or something completely different. I don't know if this other game is exactly horror or more surreal, but it sounded very interesting, so I wanted to try it out. And there's a title that could be a horror game. Hmm. A very unexpected ending. We survived. Who expected that? And again, shift to run. Why do I think we're going to be fleeing from things like in the Crooked Man? Yeah. I guess these graphics are supposed to look like early computer games. Like, you guys tell, how many colors are they using? Is it just four? Great stock, it is a cute heart style. Is that a graduation picture?
looks like a metal. sad than horror <laughs> from that intro yeah this other person's joining us yeah I mean the developer described it as surreal <laughs> no it's a serious a pretty serious game <laughs> we can't cross the road and ran away and then the, these two looked at each other. So he's joined our party. cream parlor maybe could you guys tell what that was it, it could have been a fruit or a drop of blood and we're helping them walk home. Nothing is scarier than confronting your own emotions. Em. Yeah, there's a lot of truth in that, and a lot of people try not to. Oh, it's a cat. <laughs> the 
sound effects might have tipped me off. We can't pet the cat, but we can at least hear it purr. got to go uh, take a nap with the cat and hear it purr, so that's close enough. <laughs> I think that was a mirror, but... She's wearing the medal. Oh. I guess that's what everybody was congratulating her on it. The mirror and the book said award medal. So we stepped through the mirror and turned into the other person who might have drowned, but then our character like exploded back out of the mirror and now I don't know where we are. It's an interesting that tradition with it feels a ween guitar cat. I was like, did we wander off the edge of the game? <laughs> oh, no, oh, it, uh, you did. It handled it right. I was able to know exactly what you were saying. Thanks. <laughs> so now nobody... Nobody wants to talk to me. <laughs> and interact with me specifically so they can stop me. Hmm. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, they still join my party. <laughs> I still have these. Can you guys tell what that is, that one guy? If it's a drop of blood or what? Also, how many how many colors does this game have? I'm honestly curious. It looks like not many. We can't go and pick the rubbish up. <laughs> oh, the, the bird ran away from the character, and so it was like sweat, like they were nervous or upset. So what? It seems that it's all in black and white. I thought like in some of the full cutscenes there might have been color. What is that? Wait, they're all the same. Now, these are the friends' houses, but they look like just like me, like the generic girl model. Oh, there they are.
think so, Kitar? It could be. I'm trying to figure out exactly the meaning. Is the other person in the mirror? We keep trying to follow them. They won't interact with us, but they're all staring at us. Was that the person from the mirror? They had fair hair, so it looked like I thought they might be. It's like I f started to fade, but then... When I look into a reflective surface, I see myself and become solid again. fade away it's like you die and the game makes you try again all right shift to run but 
I don't know what that thing was on the other side of the street. Ah, okay, I get it. We have to keep ourselves alive. I don't know if that's supposed to be there or if it's like a mistake. seeing ourselves in the mirror with the blonde I think it's a girl the blonde person intrigued by this game's story, but I'm having trouble figuring it out. There's a mortar board. <laughs> I think those are discarded pages. Woo! 
and someone that looks like me. Noticing. I know the other three are looking for me.
see if I can make it to that house. of three people just before I fade away. There's a readme that has any hints.
that house. At least where I think one of my friends lives. <clears throat> Though they're not there, obviously.
on everything.
I think that's a whirlpool. Gradually turning into the the blonde girl. I feel like I am. That's subtle. What are these people? They're moving like puppets. Thank you. 
sprinting. A pond. Steps. <laughs> the transformation's almost complete. <laughs> and she looks like she's smiling. Yeah, that 
point it was almost like we were controlling her. Oh, I see, we caught her just before she went into the mirror. And now we've completely become her. Something a little creepy about her staring eyes. us again. So they were scared and I said something about the metal. It's so nice to see you all again. It's been a while, hasn't it? The original girl. I can't 
even answer, can you? No one can answer. No one can see what's happened to this place. No one can see that you are missing. No matter how much I chase after you, we'll never be the same. And to everyone else, they'll never be able to see me for who I truly am, for who you truly are. My dreams, my aspirations, my hopes. My real self. search with me a little longer, right? Where are you going? Are we running away from her? It's actually you? Well, where have you been? What's been going on? We were so worried. So, so worried. What's been going on? What have you been running from? we want is to understand, you know, to know that you're okay, and to see you be happy again. We just want the old you back.
thought you were home. A dying breeze. In the peripherals of my vision. until the end of time, but home, it's always been here, it's our shame, our reflection, we can't take back what's beyond the surface. but we can do our best to make it our own. Oh, that's us with the friends and we saw the blonde girl in it before. Can we talk for a moment? Oh, that's the end. Huh. Thank you. That's, that's an odd game, I don't think. I don't think I really understood it. Um, yeah, it felt so abstract. I was, it was hard to figure out what it was a metaphor. For. For exactly. Hmm. All the different parts add together. Hmm. I'm going to have to look up what the developer says about this. Hopefully they explain it. I didn't until uh, somebody had mentioned it earlier. Like, I mean, I could tell it was, you know, retro style graphics. And I, just, I thought it was like four color or something initially, but wow, all that was, hmm. Shades of black and white. Yeah, like my world. There's some significance in the choice to do that. Or just they liked that kind of aesthetic. It was one bit graphics, as they said. Hmm. Um. Huh. So yeah, it wasn't really horror, even if parts of it were definitely unsettling and very strange. But then I like strange. Hmm. And. That was all I had planned for tonight. Suppose we should wrap up and raid somebody. As for what's coming up, the plan is tomorrow, um, yeah, I think tomorrow we'll play some Doom 3. It's been a while and we want to get through more of that. It's a fun game. And then I'll try and do a bonus like audiobook stream Monday and reading more benighted. And then Wednesday we'll start another cinematic platformer. And I 
got to decide on which one. I'm, yeah, I'm leaning towards one, but I'll just decide and announce it in tomorrow's stream. And then, hope the one I can decide on, I can get running in a window and have it work well. Hmm. And yeah, one more game for cinematic platformer September. Soon enough, we'll be in Spooktober. Now let's see if he's still online. Is MySpace? Yeah, MySpace is still down. Oh no, now it's back up. Well, forgive me if I don't announce today's stream at this point. Oh, we should raid. She's still online. Mm, no. Yeah, our friend, yeah, I feel like we haven't raided her in a while, but yeah, we haven't raided Dragon of the West in a while either, and he's playing Cuphead in a race with Haggard Hessian. Let's go over and say hi to him. Good night. Thank you all for coming to hang out and watch me play through those two games. It was... The last one was especially interesting. Yes, sometimes we stray outside of traditional horror territory here for Short Horror Saturday. You can follow me on Twitter and MySpace, when it's not down, for stream announcements, polls, and random thoughts. And you can find VODs of my past streams up on YouTube. Now I hope you all have a good night. Say hi to Dragon of the West. And I'll see you here tomorrow for more demon splattering fun. <laughs>